According to the CDC, about 70% of all people with diabetes have nerve damage, which often leads to a loss of feeling in the feet, so you may not feel a cut, blister, or sore. These seemingly simple injuries can develop into open wounds and infections. Plus, diabetes reduces blood flow to certain parts of your body, especially your legs, so injuries take longer to heal if they heal at all. Diabetics lose the gift of pain. They can't feel something, that there's a problem, so they continue on with the activity whether it's a blister or a callus or a puncture wound, they don't think that there's a problem because the pain signal is not coming up to their brain to tell them to stop doing that activity. Take a look at your foot, pull your shoe off, pull your sock off, look at it. This is something that should not be taken lightly because it doesn't take long for these infections to progress to the point where your foot may need to be amputated. Here are some things to keep in mind if you're a diabetic. Add a foot specialist to your healthcare team. Wear padded socks to protect your feet. Clinically tested socks like these have been shown to reduce pressure, friction, and moisture that can cause blisters and foot pain. They'll also protect your feet from the inside of your shoe. Wear properly fitted footwear and never go barefoot. I've pulled out cat hairs, dog hairs, human hairs. Uh, I've taken out toothpicks, uh, electronic wires, staples. Uh, and it's all in the house, and they had no idea it was there. These simple preventative tips will keep you moving, and remember, the more you move and stay active, the easier it's going to be to take control of your diabetes.